Hey guys, Justin here coming at you from the 4x4 test tent with another unboxing video. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and bah humbug, use whichever one applies to you. And this is going to be a big test you do not want to miss. A lot of you guys have been asking for this. A lot of you guys have been waiting for this. This light to take on the four corner par test. This is Grandmaster LEDs. It's time, baby. It's time for the Tarantula Vulcan. Let's get it. And there it is, ladies and gents. Look at that beast. Holy sheep shit. Wow. Wow, look at that. That is huge. Huge. Eight panels. Eight panels on this sucker. Just look at that light. Holy shit. That is amazing. <laughs> Man, that is clean. Absolutely clean. Got a nice little mix. Unbelievable spectrum on this, guys. Absolutely full spectrum. For real. You'll see when we do the uh, spectrometer test. This thing's going to be a beast. Look at that. A whole bunch of cool white, warm white, a few different kinds of reds, deep red. Holy shit, man. Let's take a look at the accessories and then we'll get to the uh, par numbers. All right, so this is everything that comes inside the box. Uh, you get, first off, nice little self-promotion here for the GML show. Go ahead and take a look at that. Check it out if you'd like. And then the accessory bag, pretty standard. Got the uh, phone cord for the daisy chain. You got second one. Give you some uh, some wire ties, which is kind of nice. Then we got the uh, rope ratchets. You know it's going to be metal gear on the rope ratchets for sure. And you notice there's only two rope ratchets. That's because there's also a hanging kit that comes with this. And it is a super robust hanging kit where you only need the two rope ratchets. And it's really thick. I'll show you here in a second once we get to the light. Then we take a look at the, uh, the manual here. Feel free to... Uh, Pause the video if you want to take a look at any of this for any longer. Just going to kind of go over it real quick. You can see their spectrum there. You want to take a look at that. There's the setup of the light. More info. There's for a controller, how to set that up, safety warnings, I'm sure nobody really reads through that. <laughs> Probably should though, you want to make sure you don't blow your light up. And you notice that there's no warranty info in here because they have on their website and pretty much everywhere, everybody knows, five year warranty. So straight up, oh it's right on the front, I didn't see it because I accidentally bent the, the corner here. It's right on the front. Like I said, they put it everywhere. So it's actually kind of surprised it wasn't in there. Boom, five years. So five years warranty on that. And it's not gonna be the uh, the cheap warranty either where you you basically have to pay for everything <laughs> that some companies are doing. So uh, definitely awesome. If you want specific details on how the breakdown goes as far as the warranty, definitely contact them. And I advise that for any light that you buy. If you have any questions with warranty, always contact the company never listen to a youtuber or anybody else the company is the one that's going to be dealing with it so that's about that let's uh let's get into some par numbers all right time to take a look at this bad boy underneath the uh the four corner par meter but let's take a look at the uh the hanging kit real quick here 
So this is the hanging kit I was talking about. Super robust, nice thick steel braid. They got these hangers right here instead of having it on the board, which was kind of hard to uh, do on some lights. They actually have a separate hanger. Four of them there. The setup, the way the wiring is, is tight. This is very well wire managed. Look at how clean this is. Incredibly clean. And it's got two drivers even. Two drivers and it still looks way less of a mess than just about any other light that I've tested. Like they actually care. It's amazing. Here's the uh, Inventronics driver that they're using. And then the Meanwell that is for the reds, I'm sure. So separate separate driver to do the uh, the reds because this thing has a lot of red. Check this out, man! Holy crap! That is a lot of red to flower with. And you can see there's a few different kinds. They're not all just one red. Look at that awesome cutout with the uh, tarantula logo. It's pretty sick. Yeah, this thing is just absolutely beast guys wow this the biggest light that i've tested so far i'm pretty sure as far as uh maybe not as physical but as far as diodes and bars and like not bars but boards diodes and boards definitely <laughs> look at how many diodes are on this shit like is there another light that even matches this diode count i'm not even sure Holy crap. So let's kick on the uh, four corner par meter and the watt meter. And of course we've got this at uh, 25 inches off the uh, canopy. All right, 25 inches as usual because there's a one inch sensor height basically. So 24 inch canopy is what we're testing for, which is pretty high. Like you can run this light much lower. You can see it goes, it goes wall to wall in this tent. Like there is not much room on either side. <laughs> it fills the tent really, really well. I will have a little bit of a hard time hitting the dimmer or getting the dimmer on camera here, but I'll do my best is over there on the side. But yeah, this is a bad boy, man. Check this out. All right. So we're sitting at the bare minimum here, 192 Watts. And we're already really a little bit strong for me as far as uh, seedlings and clones go. We're already at like 240. You could veg with this at minimum. That's ridiculous. <laughs> 371 in the middle. Yeah. You could veg with this light at 24 inches on the lowest possible setting. Another note on the dimmer that I noticed when I was playing with it. Uh, it's a soft dimmer. So it's not an immediate change to the uh, voltage or the driving uh, driving force, I guess you would say. I don't know. I'm not I'm not like a light uh, elect electrical expert, so I'm not really sure what the verbiage is on that. But basically, you turn the knob and it goes bright super fast or not bright super fast. This actually takes some time. You turn the knob and then it dims slowly. It's a slow dimmer, which helps save the life on the diodes because you're not getting really quick fluctuations. That's really bad for your, for your diodes. So that's a diode saving feature on this dimmer, which is pretty sick. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get up to uh, veg. I'm sure it's not gonna take much. Nope. Wow. <laughs> yeah, we're already at 400. I barely even touched it. That's insane, dude. No way. <laughs> Can I even get it to like 350-ish? And there again, the difference in the corners. This is the most reflective corner. This one has that little pocket right there, so it does lose a little bit of reflection. This one has almost no reflection. And then this one has partial reflection here. So that's why the, the four corners are different. But damn, dude. Yeah, okay, so that's that's about where we need to be. Like, holy crap, it barely moved. The knob barely moved. We're at 262 watts to veg a 4x4. That is 
awesome. Absolutely awesome. No way around that. That is awesome. Take a quick center reading. 500 in the middle. We're almost flowering. Wow, dude. This, this could be the strongest thing I've ever tested. This could turn out to be the strongest thing I've ever tested. Let's kick it up to uh, base flower, which is about 600. See, it takes a little bit of time to adjust. I'm not used to that. <laughs> it's a slow dimmer. I get just a little bit less. There we go. So that's about 600 roughly. If I was to close the door, we'd be at about 600 in all four corners. And that's 426 watts. We're flowering a 4x4 four four tent with 426 watts. That's awesome, guys. That is killing the game. Let's get a center reading. 836. Perfect. That's absolutely perfect. That is where you want to be as a beginner to intermediate grower. 600 all the way around in the corners. 850 in the middle. Those are excellent numbers. They're not too high. So where you're going to have to really keep up with your nutrients and be just completely dialed in. But you're still going to get nice fat, fat nugs. So that's that's just beautiful right there. And we're we're not even we're not even into this thing, man. Like, look at that. Holy crap. All right. You know what time it is. It's time to blow it open. Let's do it. Boom. <laughs> oh, bro. A thousand in every corner. No way. Oh, my God. It would be over a thousand in every corner if we shut the door. No freaking way, dude. Wow, what a banger. Absolute banger. Guaranteed a thousand in every corner of a 4x4. Four four. That is nuts. The center reading, what do you guys think the center reading is going to be? Fourteen hundred. Fourteen hundred in the middle, guys. Oh man, this has got to be the strongest light I've ever tested in a 4x4. We're pushing 741 watts. Unbelievable. I have no doubts that this thing could push a 5x5. Like that is that is killer results in a 4x4. No doubt in my mind this could push a 5x5. This is like the only light that I've ever tested that I have no doubt would push a five by five. That's why I got rid of my five by five. None of the lights could really meet the challenge. So I sold that shit. <laughs> now I finally have one to meet the challenge, but I don't have a five by five anymore. Damn, man. That is absolutely nuts. Look at that bad boy. Fucking wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is crazy. Man. <laughs> GML, man. You, you did it, man. You did it. You said you were going to do it, and you did it. Let me get the uh, spectrometer out here. Take a spectral reading. Man, the light's so... The backlighting's so bright, you can't even see the screen. There we are. Zeroed out. Let's take a look. Look at that. I told you guys there was a lot of red. Look at the 740 bump, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at the far red. Look at that red spike. Wow. That is a beautiful spectrum. Absolutely beautiful. Unbelievable. That is a massive 740 bump. That's a lot of far red in this light. Deep red, far red, the whole nine. 
There's not a lot of green and yellow, which is nice. I mean, nothing against it really, but it's not as productive as red and blue. I mean, that's just, that's just simple fact. So having less of that and more of this, excellent. Absolutely excellent. Beautiful guys. Wow, well done. Well done, I would clap if I had another hand. There's a air clap, air high five. Psh. <laughs> Holy shit, guys. Yeah, definitely uh, thumbs up this content if you like this, man. Helps us out. Click the links below. We got discount codes on this light and other lights. Man. Talk about Merry Christmas to me. This is a killer light, man. I may end up just using this. This may, this may remain in the tent. There's the competition right there. <laughs> You see, I added some bars to it. There's what it's competing against, guys. That's a direct competition. I mean, you can see it right there. Four boards. Or, excuse me, four boards on each side. So, eight boards. Three boards on each side. Six boards. Yep. <laughs> I've never seen anything make this light look small before. Like, this light looks tiny now. That's nuts. That's nuts, guys. Off the chain. Great job, GML. Holy shit. All right, one thing left to do. Let it warm up. And let's take some heat readings and uh, do the wrap-up. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you guys about this second knob over here. Check this shit out. So, second uh, dimmer. This is actually for the far red only. Which is awesome. So, that's going to dim this driver here. For the far red. Yeah, I figure I'd do a uh, spectral test too with the uh, far red and without. So there's zeroed out. This is going to be with, with the far red. You guys already saw this. I'll show it again here. So that's with the far red. Now, let's shut it off. And we'll test it again. There we go, look at that, bump's gone. The bump is gone, but the red is still there. The big red spike, around 660, still there. So there's still an amazing spectrum. Amazing spectrum. But you can put a big old bump there at 740, man. Killer. Never seen this option on a light that I've tested before. Not to this extent, for sure. Very, very well done. Let's just have a quick round of applause too for this spider farmer tent holding two fatty lights with add-on light bars without collapsing. <laughs> Fucking A. Here's a quick look at what it looks like with just the reds turned on. Just the far red. Give you an idea of how much far red there is. That's killer. Like I said, about a hundred par. demon light right there <laughs> we'll do a real quick uh, spectral reading on the red here BAM <laughs> look at that Wow freaking Wow 129 on the far red Wow look at that banger all right guys we are back and we've let it warm up for over an hour let it warm up for about an hour and i went to check it and i was like how is it still this cool so i let it warm up some more and uh <laughs> it's just cool man this thing just runs really cool look at that highest reading on the screen it's 111 the panel the hottest panel 106, right next to the driver in the middle there. Go over here, 106, 105. The one furthest away from the driver, 102. That's super low, guys. That is great. 108 and 112 on the driver. Also, absolutely excellent. How about the little driver? Can I target that? 
111 on the little driver, 113 on the big one. Excellent, excellent heat reading. That is killing the game. So this thing not only outputs an incredible amount of light, but it has so much metal. That is, yeah, that is not even barely warm to the touch. That is awesome, guys. This thing kills the game. Absolutely kills the game. Give this video a thumbs up for sure. Check out the links below. If you want to check this light out, we got links to check it out. We got discount codes. I got discount codes on my website. Lots and lots of discount codes for everything that you want to buy. So make sure to check that out. Until next time, guys, happy growing.